Okay, today I'm going to show you how I changed out my um, sigma manometer or my blood pressure gauge and my pump into a new um, bladder and cuff. So I have this old bladder and uh, you can see it's kind of old and cracked and it sticks and thus the gauge just pulled right off. It just was so old and sticky. So you clean off the gauge and I mean the the little nipple valve on both of them and the bulb goes on the by the adult or, or the name and the the pressure one goes by the artery so um, once they're cleaned off you just kind of put put the valve inside the hose the empty little hose and you start twisting it and pushing it on. Now, you can get a new cuff with the bladder in it for 1850. Some of the older ones will let you just change out the bladder, but the newer ones it's cheaper and they come to put together. Um, so all you need to do is just change out. These are the expensive parts: is the the pressure gauge and the pump. Um, these other ones are pretty inexpensive. So. Um, when I was taking it off the old one and cleaning off the little black um, sticky part from the other valve, it got twisted and it got off of zero. And uh, it was actually stuck at 180. <laughs> and so I couldn't figure out how to get it to zero. And I looked online and on YouTube and the videos, and, and basically they're like, oh, you just twist this little valve at the bottom. That is great. But it did not work for me because this little ring around is actually a nut and so if these two are stuck together you do this and it and you squeeze it in and it gets stuck like okay so that's tight right and if I try and move this it would have to go all the way around or um, it would be loose see if I get it to zero it's loose so I kept having a problem I'd screw it and it would see now it's getting further and further away so what I realized is I want to get it close to zero as I can and then you hold the valve in the center with pliers. I just used my um, some bandage scissors and I just use this let's do this. I just use this part right here on my bandage scissors you can see and I unscrewed it. So now I'm going to put it back as close to zero as I can but this valve is still loose. So I just took a paper clip, I held the valve in place, and I used the paper clip to tighten up that nut. And I looked online, I couldn't find anywhere where it explained that. So you tighten that up, get it as close to zero as you can, hold the valve in place, and use it. There's a tool, I'm sure, that, that is made for this specifically. But I just used a paper clip. Okay? See now it's tight, and if I move it a little bit, I can get it to zero and then just hold it and even if you went back past zero a little bit and then tightened it up that way when you move it with your gauge you've got it um, or you use your bandaging scissors or whatever to tighten it up okay see it's tight and it's almost on zero it's really close so I'll just take my bandage scissors and um, tighten it up a little bit more Anyway, that's how you do it. So most of them, they just say take pliers and go back and forth a little bit with the pliers. But none, nobody, even on the ones I looked up written, explained that little disc there. So I was extremely frustrated with <laughs> that. But if you had pliers, it would work better just if you're only a few degrees off. So now it's kind of tight, but I, I grabbed some pliers. It would, it would move right on to zero. It's pretty close right now. And then once you've done that, basically you would just push this on all the way on. But I'm just going to grab some pliers and tighten it up there. But if you were at work, this probably would work. Um, you know, if you've got a set of clamps. And then just use your paper clip to tighten it up. So, anyway, that's how you do it. And uh should be good to go from there. <laughs>